are in the real time part of today's video and the wetlands dlc has officially been released today which is very exciting um so you can see for our tour i am not in touch cam because with we're also going to be covering a few things of the update and the obviously dlc so the dlc creatures will be going over every single every time we make a habitat for them um so let's see here if we if we name something to do again you'll see it doesn't work it doesn't doesn't work at all it doesn't doesn't do anything instead now with the new update you can have three different modes now standard is just basically the one i'm in right now um it's just the one where you can move around and stuff and you can build this is the one i usually work on and use and then free look mode is like as a slower pace so when we had before so it's just like a slower kind of but now we have a new um, camera angle, which is the explore mode, um, which is basically like Tetra Cam. It's almost it's like the same thing. So you put it's like Jurassic World Evolution 2, um, where you put a spot down, you just choose where you want to be, and it acts you as a person. Now you can actually have like a low three different views. You can go up as like a top view. You can have like a medium view, which I'm I'm guessing it's like a person view, and then you have a bottom view, which is I'm guessing if you're like a kid. And you're like going in, you can see like a kid's view, adult's view, top view, which is really cool in my opinion, because we didn't, we couldn't do this with Tishikam. So moving on, um, we'll quickly go over the rest of the things in the update because I, oh, yeah, the one thing I have to get used to is now actually just doing stand mode. Um, a couple things in the update, there is a new terrain tool also. Um, so now we have, I believe it's this one, the flattened terrace. I don't really know too much about this. I'm, ba I'm, I'm being aware that you can like use this as like to make it's meant for being making like hot springs and stuff to me i don't really see too much difference between this and using like, the shapes and stuff so it's probably not something i'm going to be using a lot but if you can use your head and stuff so I'm, i think you're supposed to be doing like this so it's meant it's meant for making like the streams and the and all that good stuff for the capybaras and making like hot springs and stuff, which I think I will use for when we do make that, and I'll get to that in a second. Uh, so that is new. Also with the water, if you will, actually I can't really do it, but if you have an exhibit with water in it, so basically like the diamond back terrapin, uh, hold on, I'm going to cancel our effects, oh my god, so many things. Here, we're just gonna delete this for now. Um, if you have an exhibit that has water in it, not this one because it's the bow constructor, Actually, I think it does have a little bit of water. Can we do it with this one? Uh, cinematics? Mm, yes, we can. So, uh, water. Um, now you are able to change the color of water in your habitat. So you can make it like red, yellow, and blue. All that good stuff. So making it like different colors. I'm gonna make my brown because make it like swampy color. Um, but yeah, that's one of the things you can do. Um, what else? There are some also new UI things with the education. I honestly don't know too much about that, so I'm going to leave that as it is. Um, I think we also have some new trees. I, they're not in the Wetlands DLC, so if you put in... Yes, that's, so these are some of the new ones. We have the... What is this called? The Bald Cypress Knees. So you have a single one, and you have like a bunch of them piled together, so that's nice. Uh, we also have this, which is the Bald Cypress, so we have more... I think this is a North American tree. Yes, North America. And aquatic, apparently, so that's, that's good. Uh, but moving on to the actual habitat tour. So I, I chose to... Here, we'll use the, the new... Oh my god, this is unbelievable. The video on this is just amazing. Uh, so let's use the new Explore mode. Very exciting. Should we go? Should we be a little kid and race there? Nah. Well, let's, let's go with the, the mature idol. Anyway, so uh, we are back at the reptile house. You'll see where we have in the episode 3, I think it was. Episode 3? Am I right? Yes? No? Maybe? Um... Um, where we had this, which is the reptiles area, we had the bow constrictor, and on the other side we have the alligator habitat. Um, so, on the left side of the reptiles, we are going to have our wetlands area. Which, uh, I do have to make an update. On Friday, we would have a capybara habitat in Yellowstone. We are not. I am going to skip that until next week on Friday, just because it is not ready yet. Um, I kind of took advantage of this new DLC thing, and I've made a different habitat over here. I got too excited for this wetlands area and stuff, and I made the habitat for the platypus. Um, so instead, we will be making a platypus habitat here in Brixton Zoo neck on Friday. So this week, Friday. Um, and then next Friday, we will do the Yellowstone Zoo, because I really want to get the capybara um, habitat down. 
I really wanted to get it good, so. Yes, one of my favorite animals in this pack, so yes. So here we are at the otter habitat, so we're gonna go down the underwater viewing first, and oh my god, these things are adorable. Look at how cute they are. Also, the other thing I left out in the update is that now you can, um, you can use bubbles and mist in your water now. It does, you don't have to be like those little black little feature things. You can now just like put them straight in. Uh, so if you, actually we'll do it later, but look at these guys. Look at, look at them. They are the smallest otter species. Fun fact. I'm pretty sure. Um, yes. I wasn't able to watch the, um, the Cappy Cam stream that Planet Zoo did. I was very busy. Um, all morning. So this is like, it's like three in the afternoon. Me. I'm getting on the pack now, and like I'm trying to get this video as soon as possible. It's probably gonna go up in the afternoon. I'm very sorry. Um, I also found a new enrichment item for them. I think it's like a submarine kind of hook thing, which is really cool. I never even knew about this. This is really nice. I don't know what they're supposed to do with it, but uh, I, I don't know. Look at these guys. Look at them. They're so cute. Because if we tap on it, and I'm, I'm assuming. Oh, hold on. We gotta go up. Oh, okay. Um. Standard, oh jeez, okay. My god, the computer is like on the next level. Can it be used? It can be used apparently, so that's, that's good. Um, alright, let's... I'm still getting used to this new camera mode here, there we go. Alright, so yeah, that's us. what we have for the otters. This is the underwater viewing. I really like how this turned out. We have this, like, little, little area, and plus underneath this big tree, um... Stumper, big planter, we have actually an animal talk. So if we move this up, uh, more up, we have an animal talk. That's nice. Um, so yeah, decided to hide that. I'm hoping it works. I haven't seen the educator do it yet. Um, another thing that's in the update you can now do is the educators will, instead of only doing the animal talks, and when they wander around, they can also give small little facts and stuff about your animals, I'm guessing, to your guests when they're not on duty or anything like that. But look at them, they're so cute. Another thing I found that I had no idea of, uh, now you can have a flat underwater viewing area, or underwater viewing, um, or underwater, oh my god, I can't talk today. Um, now you can have a flat underwater feeder for, like, the fish and the plants, I think it is, which, which the capybara is used. Um, so yeah, uh, we don't have that big cone-shaped thing coming out of it, which is really nice. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much it for the underwater viewing area. I really like this habitat, this was probably my favorite habitat yet we've done so far of this park um, that might change when I show you guys the platypus habitat because I honestly do like that one also. I'm not going to spoil that one. I don't want to spoil that one because that one's really good too. Uh, we have the waterfall coming down. I tried to make it as realistic as possible. I know that's man-made, um, so I used like a little like a vent kind of thing where the water is coming out of to make it seem like it's going in. I do want to add some more water effects to this thing to make it look more realistic. But other than that, I think we're really good. So let's move over. We're going to uh, do this. We're going to go up. Um, I add this area, which is basically just a little bit forest, and, yeah, um, we have the platypus habitat, which I will give you, like, uh, are you ready? Ready? I'll give you, like, three seconds of, of looking. Ready? Go. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, so that's gonna be on this Friday. Um, I'm sorry for those of you who wanted another Ye uh, Yellowstone video. Um, it will be up next Friday. I just don't, I don't want to rush it because it looks really good. And I had a really good idea for it, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, and you can get a good overview of the otter habitat. And this is the best view. The main view for here is meant to be, um, the underwater view. But you can still see them under there. They will mainly m spend time in the water, so I figured that it would be best just to have one big viewing. And you can see the keeper, I think. Yeah, there's the keeper. Going to help the otters, and, oh my god, you can hear them from here. These guys are a very vocal very loud and you can see the bubbles from the bubble enrichment item over there very nice very very nice um oh i didn't change these yet oh no oh it's because it's default oh there we are nice i have to change all these so ignore ignore the things that have snakes on them it's supposed to be an honor guys okay i'm sorry <laughs> short notice <laughs> so let's move through these people um i added just like a oh my god this one part wasn't in the speed build because this is part of the platypus build um, we've, I've added, like, little picnic tables and stuff to make this look a bit more realistic and stuff, to make this nicer and just beautiful. Um, yeah. So let's keep moving forward. Um, I think that that is uh, good for the area for the guests. We also have this little nature area. Very nice. You can see this isn't really meant to be. You have, like, this little backstage kind of area over here. 
Nice. Um, so yeah, it's basically just a little loop where you can go in and you can see the otters. Very good. You can see I use some of the bubble effects. Um, yeah. So that's pretty, pretty nice. Look at these guys. Oh, I'm sorry. My, my UI is on. Oh, look at it. Look at them. They're so cute. They're adorable. Definitely the cutest otter out of the two of them that we have in the game. So, um, last thing. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that right there. See? I did put a few- oh, I missed it. Damn it. <laughs> um, I did use a few- I did put a few educators in just so maybe I can catch them giving a couple hints and- or, um, little talks and stuff, which I- you- yeah, you got- you guys saw that part. Um, and then also over the backstage area, if we go through- why are people even here? Are you trying to sneak a peek at the backstage area? You're not supposed to be back here. I haven't even done this area yet. Which is basically just like a staff area. We'll get more into this later on, but yeah, it's just a small little staff area with a bunch of supplies and stuff, and we go through, and we have the otters indoor area, which I've made this kind of like sliding doors, so when it's cold outside and the and the otters need to come inside for the winter, or if there's if it's just like I don't know they have a sickness or something, um, then they can close the doors off to uh, um, yeah just separate that otter from the rest, or just to bring them inside all together. We had their backup little food storage and stuff. Looking nice. Their bedding areas is what they're doing. They were do bedding. And I tried to make this really cool to make this like an overhang kind of shelter kind of area. And it's really nice. They still have the sunlight and they can just relax and be beautiful. Be very cute. And we obviously have this nice little area. I tried to use the rocks to kind of blend it in. Um, also, if you were wondering, these. Um, is this off the ground? Well, this is off the ground. I'm stupid. Here you go. Wait, uh, is that for the other one too? Oh my god, why are these off the ground? I don't know, I'm sorry guys, I don't know why these are off the ground. Um, oh my god, you guys are so loud. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Here, where is the, these things here? These should not be off the ground. Very sorry. Okay, I think that's it. No, nope, there's one more, of course. There we go. Alright. Um, but yeah, overall, that's pretty much it for the habitat. It says they can get on top of this little island here. I haven't seen them do it yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm praying, I'm hoping that they can. Uh, so yeah. I think that is pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this habitat. Uh, next, or er, on Friday, again, we will be doing the platypus habitat. Um, in this park. And then next Friday, we'll be doing the um, Capybara Habitat in our other park, which is Yellowstone uh, Valley or Yellowstone National Park. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Also, Jurassic World Evolution 2 videos on, or just one video on Monday uh, next week. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the schedule for the upcoming things. I will see you guys on Friday for the Platypus Habitat back in this big park. Bye, guys.